It's coming to the end of 2020 and in Australia that means it's summertime. So what better time of year to review the Tudor Pelagos in blue. Now with so much uncertainty in the world right now, what we really want is a watch that will stand the test of time. It'll deliver on expectations and give us lasting enjoyment and certainty. And I think that the Tudor Pelagos is that watch. Hi, I'm Mike from Men and Their Watches. In part one of the Tudor Pelagos review, I'm going to cover what the Pelagos is like on the wrist, how does it wear, how does the titanium wear, and you know, does it scratch more than stainless steel? And finally, what does my personal Tudor Pelagos wear like after two years? The Pelagos is an impressive watch. I've worn it snorkeling on shipwrecks in the ocean, I've worn it on hikes, I've worn it swimming in the pool in my backyard, and I've even worn it on safari in Africa. Now this watch has traveled the world with me and made some great memories. I'll show you how it stood up to all of that at the end of the video, but first, how does it wear on the wrist? The Pelagos comes with two straps, the titanium bracelet and the rubber dive strap. Now I'm not personally a fan of, or a big fan at least, of rubber straps because I find they generally don't conform to my wrist as well as steel bracelets, but the one that comes with the Pelagos is actually pretty good. It's stylish and it's reasonably comfortable. It has a titanium insert on the end of each side of the strap that fits really nicely up against the body of the watch and it looks really cool as well as works well. So it's kind of like a custom fitted strap. So if you do like rubber straps, I think you'd be very, very happy with the, the quality of the rubber strap that is on the Pelagos. Now the only problem, well at least for me, is that the titanium strap is so good. It's light on the wrist, it's super comfortable, it's adjustable without you know, any tools when it's a hot or a cold day and you just wanna expand it or contract it a little bit. And it's also got the extension to go over a wetsuit if you use it for diving or snorkeling. Now I think that the watch on the titanium strap would make the most particular person happy. In fact, I'll call it the Goldilocks strap. It's not too light, it's not too heavy, and <laughs> you guessed it, it's just right. Some tool watches feel too light. They look really big, but they feel too light. So, you know, they end up feeling kind of cheap. And some tool watches in stainless steel feel too heavy. Now the Pelagos is just right. And to give you a sense of that, let's compare it to the Rolex Submariner. The Sub is a perfectly balanced watch. It feels substantial, but it never feels heavy or awkward. And if we compare the weight of the sub to the Tudor Pelagos, you can see on the scales that the sub weighs in at around about 153 grams. And we put the Pelagos on the scale and it weighs in at around 143 grams. So there's about a 10 gram difference. And the thing that they share in common is that they both are beautifully well balanced on the wrist. They're very comfortable and they feel just right on your wrist. Now the Pelagos is thicker, but that seems to be visually just about right to me because it is a tool watch. It's a serious dive watch, but it's got a very modern movement inside and you know a bunch of other stuff like a helium uh, gas escape valve. And so that thickness is warranted. Now let's talk about the titanium. How does it wear? Does it scratch more than stainless? I've seen a lot of people on forums saying, oh, you know, it's supposed to be tougher than stainless and it's really strong and it's really scratch resistant. And other people are saying, well, no, 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 it scratches much easier than stainless steel. So let's look at what it really is like with my experience of owning it for a couple of years. Now, I look after my watches, but I have not babied this watch. It's been used as a real tool watch and not just a desk diver. I've worn it to the beach, I've worn it in the ocean, I've worn it on the reef. It's been on you know, various, almost a week on safari in the African bush. I've slept with it on international plane flights, banging it on seat belts and armrests. I've dragged it through airports, hotels. I've worn it many times in the swimming pool, you know, playing games, catching balls, jumping around, banging on the side of the pool. And so let's take a closer look at my watch and how it's worn over that time. So here's the watch, it's literally come straight out of the water and I've picked it up and just shot this video with it. So you can see around the body of the watch that on the sides here, it hardly has any scratches on it. It's got a couple of fine scratches. I'll see if I can pick them up for you. 
Uh, the same on the strap here, if I can just try and pick up that scratch there on that link, it has a, a tiny scratch. This is not bad considering the amount of wear this watch has had in real use. You know, it hasn't been a desk diver, as I said before. Moving around to the clasp, this is made of steel. So this guy um, did actually suffer a pretty bad scratch. I can try and pick that up on the camera here. It's a deep scratch just here. And you'll see that, um, you know, it, it's, it's fairly deep, but it's, it's not terrible. You know, from a distance, actually, you can, you know, you can pick it up, but not really. The side of the clasp is virtually perfect and spotless. Now, let me see if I can pick up the inside of the watch here. You can see the back of the watch. It's got, um, you know, some very minor, let me just open that up, some very minor scratches on the back of the watch. And that's just from it resting on its own strap or bracelet. So that's pretty normal for any watch. Um, as I said, this is steel and this hit a very large, thick sandstone pool edging tile. So the edge of my pool as I, I banged my arm on it playing a game, trying to catch a ball or something in the pool. Um, but otherwise, it's it's maintained, you know, pretty much its brand new kind of look. As you can see here, it's got a couple of tiny little scratches. It's been around the world, as I said, um, and it's seen a lot of action this watch. So it's in great shape. Um, now, the other thing about this is the ceramic bezel the non-reflective crystal and the satin finish on the strap all go really well together. Um, it's got a feel about it that's kind of silky smooth. It's not kind of sticky or tacky like you get from a highly polished surface. And even the ceramic feels like, like silk almost. It's just so smooth and soft feeling. And yet the watch is actually really tough and hard wearing. So it, it's got a nice feel to it. On the wrist, let me just put it on really quickly for you and show you. Uh, great clasp, you know, one-handed operation, just like this. Here we go. It's got a really nice taper to it. As you can see, it tapers down very nicely. It sits pretty flat on the wrist, as you can see there. And, you know, I have seven inch wrists, so it's just, just about a, a little teeny bit over seven inches, which is fairly average. You can see how that's sitting. The perspective of the camera always makes things look different, but it doesn't look big and it doesn't really look small. It looks, uh, well, back to that saying, just right. So there it is, there it is on the wrist. That's how it's worn after two years. So there it is. And after owning the Pelagos for a couple of years, it looks great. And you know, it's got some great stories and some, a couple of scars that we've collected together on our journey. So the Pelagos is a watch you can depend on in uncertain times. And I think it's just a great watch that wears really well on the wrist and it wears really well in the field. So I hope that's giving you an idea of how the Pelagos wears. Check out my other videos on the Pelagos for more information about that blue color and also how I came to choose the Pelagos and what I compared it to when I was making that decision. I'm Mike from Men and Their Watches. Check back for more videos. Subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks.